What's up Raptors fans? Welcome to the Warriors Report. I got some really interesting news for you this morning. So news broke out several hours ago that the 76ers are open to trading Ben Simmons, but they do want an all-star caliber player in return. Well, you're going to see how does this have to do with the Raptors? Well, there was a little bit of a news article that came out several weeks ago talking about how the Raptors are favorites to land Ben Simmons. You didn't really hear anything after that regarding Raptors being interested in Ben Simmons. But as soon as the news broke out about the 76ers being open to trading Ben Simmons, we get this news from NBA Central and several other media sources as well, saying the Cleveland Cavaliers, Indiana Pacers, Minnesota, and Toronto and Sacramento are teams to express interest in Ben Simmons. Now, I did drop a Ben Simmons video several weeks ago talking about why it's a bad idea to acquire Ben Simmons. But let's take a look at what the Raptors would have to give up and also whether or not he's a good fit with the Raptors. So before we get into the details of this video, guys, you know the drill. Give this video a thumbs up as it helps reach more basketball fans like yourself. And I'm also doing this new thing where I give shout outs to random subscribers. So if you do want to get a shout out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And he also does help this channel grow a lot. So for today's shout out goes out to TJ. TJ, thank you for supporting this channel continuously through your likes and comments. That is much appreciated. With that being said, Let's get into today's video. Now, the first thing you need to consider when you're trading for Ben Simmons is you take a look at his stats here. I know he's been getting a ton of hate, but without being biased of, I feel like that's recency bias of, you know what, that's become a little bit of a trend to continuously hate on players throughout the playoffs. And I'm not saying Ben Simmons is Paul George, but when you take a look at last season, how much hate Paul George was getting, and then you look at how well he performed this year's playoffs. Now, I'm not saying Ben Simmons is going to come around next season. He's going to have a Paul George-like of uh, type of playoffs. But I do think, you know what, you do need to take into consideration if the Raptors are trading for Ben Simmons. He does bring a lot of rebounding and passing ability as well, which the Raptors desperately need. Those are two of the weaknesses of the Raptors. And if they lose Kyle Lowry in this year's free agency maybe Ben Simmons can come in and be that guy in terms of passing facilitating you know what just get move get the ball moving a little bit more and less isolation plays but we do need to talk about some other things as well his huge contract is a major problem for the Raptors because you take a look at his contract which pays him a lot of money and by the end of his contract in 2024 2025 he will be making 40 million dollars yes that is quite a bit for someone who has not shown any ability to shoot three points we saw his struggles in terms of free throws and just not being able to hit free throws as well and if you're paying someone that much money you expect him to perform really well in the playoffs now i'm not saying that ben simmons can't get better but it seems like he's in his own head when it comes to shooting threes and his free throw percentages were just terrible this this year's playoffs and we saw that fit with Ben uh, Joel and B just did not seem like a good fit and I see this because when you take a look at the Raptors crew salary cap situation and take a look at their salary cap situation next season 2021 2022 they're tied in for they have about 101 million dollars now you can probably free up some cap space by uh, declining Rodney Hood and Aaron Baines's contract so in total the Raptors would have about 30 somewhat odd million to spend but you acquired Ben Simmons. You saw how much he was making. I'm going to go back on the previous screen here. Next season, he's going to be making $33 million. There goes our salary cap situation, which, you know what? We, we're we we're going to be tied up. And then we can re-sign Gary Trent Jr. as well because we do have his bird rights. So that essentially locks in the Raptors' core for the next several seasons in terms of having Pascal Siakam, Fred Van Vliet, OG and Anobi, Gary Trent Jr., and then you add Ben Simmons to that core. So that is the core you're going to be with for the next several years. And you can't change that roster unless you're trading. And we know how challenging it can be when it comes to trades. But you know what? In terms of what the Raptors would have to give up, I think that becomes a little bit tricky. Now, I say this because it's stated that the 76ers want an all-star caliber player in return. And I know a lot of people may suggest Kyle Lowry, but I just don't see that happening for several reasons. You'd have to include picks or someone like Malachi Flynn and other assets as well. I think, first of all, we have to consider the fact that 76ers did not even trade for Kyle Lowry at the NBA trade deadline when the Raptors were asking for Tyrese Maxey, Matisse Thybulle, and a first-round pick as well. So why would they do Kyle Lowry for Ben Simmons straight up? I don't see that deal happening at all. As I mentioned, unless you include several future first round picks, then maybe they think about it in other players as well, like Malachi Flynn. You'd have to throw in maybe Chris Boucher in there as well. But we also do have to take into consideration if the 76ers and the Raptors are in trade talks. I don't see that happening because 
when you're trading guys like Ben Simmons, who's still fairly young, you don't normally trade those kind of players into your own division. I think that's very rare in the NBA in terms of teams helping out their division rivals. I don't see that happening for several reasons. And when you think about just how the team makeup is, I don't see the Raptors trading one of OG and Anobi, Pascal, or Fred Van Vliet for Ben Simmons. Personally, I wouldn't do any of those players for Ben Simmons. And I know several people are going to suggest they may, but let's just pretend for a second that, you know what, we did somehow acquire Ben Simmons. You look at the starting lineup, I just don't see it being a good fit with the Raptors. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid don't complement each other's game. And Joel Embiid is actually a decent three-point shooter for a big man. And we know Pascal Siakam has had his struggles in terms of spacing the floor. He's not, uh, he, he, I think he can get his three-point shot back up again. But even despite that, we know in the playoffs, you get those half-court set defenses. And then the half-court offense, it's really tough for the Raptors to produce points. And add in Ben Simmons, who struggles mightily in the playoffs. I just don't see how this is a good fit with the Raptors. Teams are going to double-team Pascal Siakam and leave Ben Simmons open, knowing that he can't shoot three-pointers. And that is just going to be a terrible recipe for disaster. I just don't see that happening. But when you take a look at this lineup, this is a really odd lineup. You can slide in, you know what, Fred Van Vliet at the shooting guard position. But then you have Gary Trent Jr., who's naturally a shooting guard. You can't really play him at the small forward. He's a little bit undersized when it comes to guarding bigger players. He's definitely capable of doing it. Don't, don't get me wrong here, but... You can start OG at the center. We've seen him in small ball lineup. But even when you take a look at the next lineup, if you, let's say, a lot of fans have suggested that maybe you play Ben Simmons at the center position. It brings a lot of versatility in terms of defense and switchability. So I think, yeah, I mean, that looks great. But you know what? What happens when you feel someone like, you know what, Joel Embiid in the playoffs, Ben Simmons can't guard him. Then who do you have guarding Joel Embiid? You can double team him. But I just don't see it being a good fit with the Raptors in terms of how our roster makeup is, the whole salary cap situation, and just Ben Simmons' struggles in half-court offense. I think it's just going to hurt the Raptors in the playoffs. I just don't see it being a good fit. But I do want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you think? Do you think the Raptors should go for Ben Simmons? Do you think Ben Simmons could be our point guard of the future? Let's say if you trade someone like Fred Van Vliet or maybe potentially play him at the center position. Let me know all of that fun stuff in the comments section. And if you guys are still watching this video, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.